That was me hitting my head. So this is Llewellyn, Welsh. He's not a very well seal. He came in yesterday and he's very lethargic. I mean, it's a fairly decent sized pup, but he's got a really high breathing rate, really quite lackluster. And so today, they did some bloods with him yesterday and showed that he's not very well. So we're gonna do some more today. So I'm working with our vet who will be taking the bloods. She is gonna give him some injections, take his temperature and all that normal sort of stuff. But then we'll be analyzing the blood to see if there's anything else that might be wrong with him. So you'll know if you've been following any of these series that I've been doing, that the breathing rate is a really important thing to do when we first come in. Now it's lunchtime today, so all these seals have been worked on this morning, but the breathing rate is still important to tell you how stressed the seal is or if he's got any underlying problems. And we count it over two minutes and then we'll get a, an accurate per minute sample of the, the breathing rate. And Llewellyn here is breathing quite high. I mean, this morning he was 34. So yeah, he's, uh, he's not a very well seal. Come on, fella. You don't look very well at all. Hold on, let me just get his nose out. Uh, yep. So he's just going to take the temperature. Ooh, he's breathing really heavily. How much was it? 36.4. 36 so that's not too bad, but he really is. I mean, his breath has gone hot. Yeah. So we're just listening to his chest now. Mucky on the chin there. He's got a nice little snot around his nose. What injection is it that you're giving him? Okay. Okay. Hang on, let me um let me get flippers out of the way. Well, in case I get the injection instead of him. Okay. Is that enough? That's enough for um, the IM injection. Have you injected him yet? Because he hasn't made any yeah, response. He, had an IM so he hasn't. Didn't actually do anything. No response whatsoever. So I'm going to go into the vein, okay? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I shuffle back a bit? Yeah. Uh, Trying to find the edge of his mouth. Come 
He's already coming now. Okay. Keep yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Perfect. Keep there. So this is... This is Lectaid, which is just for hydration, isn't it? Is it down? Yeah. Okay. okay, fella. Come on. Well done, boy. Well done. Ooh, nice bit of snot. That was a lovely bit of snot. That's his fish on the floor. As you can see, he's really not looking very healthy. But let's hope those electrolytes and fish will stay down and they'll start to get a bit stronger soon. So we're just taking Llewellyn's blood to the blood analysis machine. So I'm just drawing up the blood. So what we're doing now is a biochemistry which looks at your liver and the kidneys. So we're more concerned with his protein levels at the moment. Um, so we'll do that. Complements low. The protein's just on borderline. The wedding really isn't a very well seal. He is anemic, really lethargic, as you can see. He's not really moved since we were jumping him and, and feeding him. He has had some fish, he's had some electrolytes, so hopefully he'll start to come back from the brink that he seems to be standing on at the moment. It's quite a sad thing to, to look at really, but hopefully with treatment going forward, a little bit like Lochin you saw in the last video, he'll start to get better. It's early days for him, but he's in quite a little bit of danger there. I mean, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep you updated on Cloellen's progress as I did with Lochin's progress. Fingers crossed, he pulls through and we end up bring him up to a decent weight and decent health level so he can go off to rehab, then get released into the wild where he belongs. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.